Now, David, I, I was showing your sun fade out. This is something that's interesting. And also, Chris, Chris did some tests about this um, a while back. It was one, one of the times that Chris was on our show. And he had been privy to, uh, who was it, the, uh, the Royal Astron Astronomical Society that kind of let you in on some of their footage? Was that it, Chris? The Royal Observatory. Royal, Royal Observatory, right. And you were doing some observations of the sun. And, and although you didn't catch it 100% of the time, uh, you were able to demonstrate that the angular size of the sun is absolutely changing. Um, even though you didn't catch it 100% of the time, um, you know, there was a distinct change in the angular size, which, of course, is something that the Globers tell us is simply not possible. Now, David, on the other hand, even though he's shooting uh, primarily in the visible spectrum, you know, footage like this is incredible. And it seems like if the higher you can get in into the more dry uh, and clear type of atmosphere, uh, the more likely you're going to be able to catch this phenomenon like he has caught here where the sun is literally shrinking and changing in angular size. And this, this, in my opinion, cannot be argued regardless of the fact it doesn't have a solar filter on it. Um, it is shrinking to a point. It is not going down to the horizon. I think this is outstanding evidence um, that the sun is moving away from us and not setting down below any type of horizon. Well, let me say a few things about how I get this and, and what the trolls are saying about it. Okay. Um, it wasn't my intention, actually, to prove that the sun doesn't shrink. The, the purpose of these videos is to prove that the sun stops going down the quotation 15 degrees per hour when it gets close to the horizon. So and the only way to do this, it has to be super. It has to be cold and no humidity. It has to be a super clear day. I'm talking royal blue sky all day long with no chemtrails, no clouds. Um, and then you have to film it with a 4K camera because it is so far away. It's so small. Uh, you can't pick it up. And you have to film it from elevation. So a 20 megapixel drone with a Hasselblad camera um, under those conditions works. Now, the, the trolls will say... This is out of focus. Learn how to focus. This is out of focus because what you're seeing here is about maybe one two hundredth of the screen uh, that I went in. I couldn't make any smaller of a box to expand this. So it's just resolution. It's not it's not focus on this. But even if it was out of focus, uh, it doesn't matter. We're, we're seeing the sun. It stops on the horizon. Now, that line you see there, that is not the ground. That is. Um, us looking across the thickest part of the atmosphere and it becomes a hard line. Uh, if it was slightly cloudy, foggy, chemi, whatever, that line would be higher and closer to us. My friends that were down on the shoreline on the day I filmed this uh, saw the sunset. They were looking across uh, several miles of water to where there was some low-lying land and it set behind that land um, before I even started filming the beginning of this uh, video. So they saw it set from a ground position. Um, so, you know, with these conditions, you can you can watch the sun. It'll go down, 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 down. It'll hover and then it'll just fade away. But usually before that hover, you have a um, an atmospheric obfuscation deck that the sun sets from, you know, goes behind and appears to set from bottom to top. Um, so people say, you know, how uh, that it's CGI? Well, there, that's uh, I'm amazing at CGI. I'm better than Iro Landucci, and oh, uh, that's how, not true. <laughs> and how how come I'm the only one that filmed this? How come millions of people haven't filmed this? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the technology to film it is only very new. Um, you have to put think about all these things, find the right conditions, zoom in on a sun that is a tiny dot in the sky. And then go in and post, uh, edit, and find it. You know, zoom in on it and find it. Um, I don't know if anyone else has filmed it, but anyone else can film it under those same conditions. So I've caught it five times um, on my. It, it, there's a playlist there um, uh, that has all the other times I filmed it. They're all slightly different, but they're all they're all they're all pretty close. Um, Bob, if you can go to the video that I put in the Skype chat uh, that, that says uh, PAD, pad video, I was able to, to uh, I, I have a, a, half, a, a glass half sphere, and I put it on the ground, and I brought a light 
um, which was we'll call the sun, and I moved it across, uh, keeping it level from left to right. And what you'll see in that sphere is the rising sun. It comes over the top, and it goes down. Now, it's hard to see exactly when it gets down, but remember, there's only a half sphere. It stops, and then it fades out. So, and, uh, I miss myself. Uh, um, I think it's only my computer. Um, what I'm trying to say is that I have that same... Um, That, you, that same thing about the dawn and the light. Uh, you modeled the, that uh, just just earlier. Yeah, you you modeled it. If thing. if you um, it now imagine that you're standing in the middle of that half dome or you know half sphere, and oh, you're and I, and, and I did, and I yeah. put a camera inside the dome. Yeah. So so I'm just saying on on my video. If you're um, in the middle of that sphere and you're, you know, uh, a fraction of a millimeter tall and a quarter inch above you, you have um, some spotted clouds and they, they extend beyond there and beyond the that dome that you're in. As that sun drops down, it's going to get eclipsed when you're looking across those clouds because that makes that opaque horizon. And it doesn't go below It just fades out, and that's exactly what we're seeing in the sun fade out videos. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. And while we're on that subject, let me guys, let me show you guys something else here. And this this is what been, Cammy's been playing with. Uh, I talked about uh, the Miroscope is what that little toy is called. And so she's been kind of playing around with this with uh, some fluorescent points. And what you're seeing here is a mirage. It's okay? a mirage. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually a hologram. And what she did is she took, uh, a, she made some balls and she painted them up with fluorescent paint and she's hitting it with an ultraviolet light. But the, what, and, and then she can actually simulate the moon phases in this. And it's interesting because when you see it in, in 3D, I mean, that's not there. That's literally a holographic. Uh, representation but what she can get is she can get sunrise sunset moonrise moonset moon phases um, of course she put all kinds of little um, stars around it and stuff like that and it's really trippy uh, and you get the same effect it, right now she's got the glass dome on the top of it um, but you can also take the glass dome off and of course you still get that very very strong hologram anybody that's ever played with a miroscope you know they're they're really cool but cammy kind of took it to a whole new level uh, by Uh, and now there it is. That's without the dome on it. And this is in the dark, but that is a holographic representation um, of the ball that's down inside of it. And again, she can take her light and go across it and create moon phases. And it's really cool when you hang it upside down from the ceiling. Um, so what you were saying earlier, uh, Dave, about, you know, if this could be some sort of a holographic type of projection from the firmament or the, the dome shape you know, as the firmament is described, right? The sun and the moon are with, within it. Um, and if they are like glass or shiny glass, then we could be looking at that very same effect in as far as what she's doing right here. So Right. So, so the question is, is the sun and moon that we see within the dome, you know, inside of the dome or within the firmament? So the, the Bible will tell you that it's with, that it's, I think inside our dome. Don't area. bring that discussion again, please. Well, no, no, that's okay. The the, the point. <laughs> no, the, the last time to took is, about 45 minutes it, between it doesn't, Rob it doesn't, and the Sun Genesis. Yeah, yeah. but but I don't care about that. Well, the, the point is, if it's a, for lack of a better word, I hate using it, a hologram, you know, a, a, a projected image. Um, the lunar wave that we're seeing, if it is rolling along the firmament, the dome or whatever, it could be going behind the moon. Just like my eclipse shows that the the moon is going behind the sun, that wave could be behind the moon for all we know. Could be in front, could be in behind. Can't rule either either one of them out. Yep, absolutely. So that's that's pretty fascinating stuff there, you know, what we're seeing. And, of course, Cammy loves to model stuff. And... Uh, Um, she's also been working even more so on the map with Karen B. Um, and it's just, it's interesting. Uh, she kind of works behind the scenes, um, you know, without, uh, you know, saying much. She shares a lot of this with everybody on Skype. But, you know, I get to see all this stuff firsthand. And to see this, 
you know, in real life with the Miroscope, it is absolutely astounding um, at how much she's got this looking just like the moon. And she's got the phases down absolutely dead nuts on. It's it's trippy. And of course, as you walk around it, you know, if you've got this hanging from the ceiling and you walk around, it also gives you that dome perspective where it, it shifts the literal position of the little ball inside. Just like Jaron has talked about several times before, um, you know, you, you did a demonstration with one of these glass domes um, and, you know, Cammy's just confirming this. Yeah, I'm looking at my glass dome now. I have it in a, a room that I've never had it in before that has um, recessed lighting all over the place. And I'm looking at it and the stars are all through it. I'm just wishing I could rotate my ceiling somehow. Um, it, it, they're amazing tools to do experiments with the optics of the sky and what they will teach you is we can't trust anything that we're seeing from the ground it, there's many explanations for what we're seeing in the sky yep absolutely true so anyway cool stuff